Hello everyone. For today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of Shantakai. We're going to do a nice, soft, holiday glam look. I have a few new pieces, some that are new and some that are new to me. I do have the new luminescent eye shades, the zebra and the crane, and I have some other little bits that we'll put together to make this a full face. It'll all be Shantakai. I feel confident saying that. Yes, full face Shantakai. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Now Shantakai is working with conservation associations that help protect these endangered species. How beautiful is this packaging? This is the zebra shade. So beautiful. And then we have the crane shade. This is the crane. Between those two shades, you're definitely going to be able to create a beautiful eye look. But I did pull my Chantecaille Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duos just in case I feel I need something for maybe a brow bone highlight or something like that. So recently I started working on my, <clears throat> excuse me, my very own blush palette. So far I have the horse shade in there. So I picked up the cheek shade in the little elephant. Now that is an overspray, but this one, oh, so pretty. The last one I think I'm going to need to complete my little blush palette is the one with the B on it. Yeah. So this is the little refill and I just stick it in the little palette. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. One more spot. I think I want the B. I think. Because I have the coral, I have the manta ray the horse, the elephant, and I think I'll be happy <laughs> I think, with the B for my last one. So you guys know I'm always shopping and buying something from Shantikai. It's just, it's just one of those brands that I really enjoy. And they were so kind and they sent over a little PR package. So they sent over three of the lip crystals and they also sent over this little gold clutch. This is a limited edition gold clutch and it's an actual purse. I mean, hello, are you kidding me? It's like, oh, it's so nice. Right here on the top, you have the Shantakai. And let me just show you the beautiful details. Isn't it stunning? So they sent over three of the lip crystals. We'll definitely be trying on all three. And there's something in here. This is the HD Perfecting Loose Powder. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, It's a shimmering featherweight loose powder that instantly lights up the skin with a warm and candlelit sheen. Non-drying and ultra-fine powders flow through a luxe self-dispensing vegan brush that releases the perfect amount of powder and seals securely with zero mess. Ah, I have not tried this before. So it's a shimmering loose powder and it has, oh, a little brush. Ooh. It has the finest little sparkles to it. Very nice. Let me just... Okay. I've never tried a product like this, so I'm excited. And you guys, I am just too fancy. So now that you've seen all of the new to me products, let's go ahead and get started on this little soft holiday glam now, shall we? I'm going to apply the Radiance Elixir. I have combination skin, and a product like this is really nice for me because it doesn't give you too much radiance. You can mix this in with your skin tints and your foundations, or you can just apply it as skincare because it is packed with skincare properties and great benefits as well. I'm going to go ahead and apply my Future Skin. I use the shade Banana. I have my little spatula. 
Now remember, we're going for soft glam, so I don't want a whole lot of coverage on my skin. So the uh, so the future skin is really perfect for that. And just to and just to get a little tiny bit more coverage, I am using a microfiber sponge. The future skin really allows your skin to look like skin. You can still see my little freckles and imperfections, but everything is kind of just pulled together and smooth. I'm taking just a little tiny bit more of the future skin to kind of cover this little friend we have up here. He doesn't want me to be great. <laughs> this is all I have left of my Camouflage Le Silo. I love this concealer so much. See. Let's see if we get enough. Please, just enough. Just enough for one more. It's literally at the end. No. I think we're going to make it. I think we're barely going to make it. This is a staple in my daily makeup. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out. And I will bring that on the lid. We'll just use that as our eyeshadow base today. So let's try out this HD Perfecting Loose Face Powder. Now, according to the website, it says that you can softly apply this all over the face after Future Skin or the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. And you can also use it to touch up throughout the day. So let's see. I've never used a product like this, so it'll be interesting. Let's get a little closer so you can see. Oh, I love how fresh and hydrated my skin looks. So let's try on one side. I don't want to use too much. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a little bit of powder flying around. So I guess just swirling it around on the skin, it just lets the product dispense. Now this is in candlelight. So this does give a little bit of a luminous finish. Very interesting product. I will have to report back on this, but I will say this. This is very convenient to just have with you in your purse. Going into the real bronzer in the shade Serena. I am going in with my Manta Ray Duo. I'm gonna use the highlighter from this. Such a beautiful glow on the skin. It's time to try my new little blush. One more look at the overspray before we say goodbye. <laughs> That's so pretty. I'm using a Wayne Goss number 14. It's a fluffier brush. I am going to take the Goa bronzer, the darker of the two, and I am going to apply that in my crease because these luminescent shades, as they sound, are luminescent. So just to have a little something before we start, it's a nice little bronzer in the crease. And I'm using a BK Beauty 201 brush. Just a nice soft little wash of color in my crease. So here are the two shadows. This is Crane and then the lighter one is Zebra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the zebra shade on my finger and just apply that on my lid. The finger is definitely going to give you the most intensity and then you can go in with a brush and just soften everything up. And I love that this comes with a nice little mirror because it is a perfect size 
just to focus it where you need it on the eye. Need some W21 brush and the crane shade. I'm going to focus this on the outer eye area. To just intensify and give a little depth to the eyes. Now that brush I just used to place my colors. And then now I'm taking a clean Isom S33. And we're just going to blend these edges. I pulled out one of my favorite Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duos. This one is Kenya. I'm gonna go into this lighter shade I'm going to use it as my inner tear duct highlight. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing a video on all five of the Le Chrome Luxe eye duos, I do have one where I swatched them all on the eyes and created looks with all five. I'll link that video for you so you can check it out. My Isom W21. Now in that same quad, the Kenya, I'm going to go into the darker purple and put that on my lower lash line. And I'm using that Isom W21 brush. Keeping it nice and easy and simple. Now if you're curious how the Kenya purple shade compares to Crane. Now if you're curious as to how the purple shade in Kenya compares to Crane, here is a quick swatch. The Kenya is a little bit lighter and the crane is a lot deeper. With my Chantecai Le Stilo Ultra Slim, do a very small little liner on the lid. So I went in with the Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner in the shade Olive Brigade. It's a nice green shade and it's subtle and soft and it works. I a couple coats of mascara and then we'll go on to trying those lip shades. So here is our finished eye look. These luminescent eye shades are beautiful. And I love that I was able to pair it with the Le Chrome Luxe eye duos as well, because those are our favorite. So beautiful. I don't think that these get as much love as they should. They're so beautiful. Okay, let's try out these lips. So these are dazzling and luminous. This pearl infused formula amplifies lips with blasts of sparkling color and dimension for a spectacular shimmer finish. Creamy and smooth, the formula offers silky buildable color with zero grit or irritation and feels incredibly comfortable on the lips. Packaged in a limited edition gold tone case. In our continued effort to fight climate change, every lip crystal sold will help us plant a tree in Kenya through the Sherlock Wildlife Trust. We're at 60,000 trees and counting. Thank you, Shantakai. This is what we love. Look at the packaging. It is really pretty. Got the C on the top, shade name on the bottom. Oh, look at her. Ooh, yes. Okay, so let's start off with Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is a frosty mauve.
I never thought that I would like a lipstick like this. I know Tom Ford recently did that Bomb Frost, but that's like a bomb with just little glitters in it. This, this is a true lipstick with a dazzling, glimmer, glistening finish. And you don't feel the particles. It's very comfortable, very creamy. And the three colors are so beautiful and so wearable. I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised with this HD Loose Powder in Candlelight. I really think this is going to be so nice for on the go. You literally just swirl it around on the skin. And you get the smoothest, softest little glow. This is such a fun product. I never tried anything like this, and I'm so glad that I did. And I love my clutch. I'm taking this on my Thanksgiving dinner. Here is our full face using all Chantecaille, some new products, some staples from my collection. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this look. Please comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much, Chantecaille, for sending over these lip crystals and this beautiful clutch and this beautiful powder. I am highly impressed. And thank you guys so much for letting me share it with you. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Ex excuse me. I have to get my lip crystals out of my lip clutch. <laughs>ready for the holiday party. I've got a full face of Shantikai to give you a little soft glam. My little clutch.